Hey guys, what is up? Plague Spores here, bringing you another episode of Shroud of Avatar. This would be episode 15, playing in release 14. We are back in Al's Head with a little bit of gold, and we're looking to buy some recipes from the vendors they set up of all the different recipes you for crafting right now. Um, I was thinking about what kind of recipe I want to start with, and since the price of armor here is like so cheap, instead of repairing i was thinking actually um to make myself feel more like old school ultima line i was gonna try to make like a bag or two or something like that and put in my pack and then what i'll do is i'll switch to like more of a visual uh screen for trading and stuff like that um but so what we need to do here is we need to come to harold he's the one like for leather cloth stuff like that and we are going to scroll down and until we find small bag. So I'm going to go ahead and double click it, sign to buy it. And let's see, crafting. Where is it? Does it automatically put it in my book? No, there it is. Okay. Now, how do I do? I just drag, drag and drop it. I really don't know how this is supposed to work. Um, let's see here. This would be tailoring. Okay, so I, you know what? I might have already had that. I guess I should have looked first. I'm not sure. So let's see here. Animal hide. How do we make leather? Tanning. We just want plain leather. Why are there three different ones? Let's find out. There we go. Leather. I can make leather. So if we go back to tailoring, look, we need four leather to make a small bag. Okay. Coil of rope. I don't know if that we just buy. Coil of rope. I have no idea what that would be under. Coil of rope. Spool of thread. Spool of thread. Let's see, I'm not sure if we could just use any type of thread. Or if it has to match exactly that. Let's buy just in case. I'm going to go sell small bags since we already have that. Okay, so let's go out to the vendors. And over the crafting tables over here, to our left. We want a tanning table first. So uh, I think we could just double click. I thought we could. I'm 
pretty sure that's what I did last time. We could just double click stuff. But I guess not anymore. So, tanning knife. And then we need four animal hides. One, two, three, four. And a chunk of salt. There we go. Just got in craft. Like I said, we needed four leather. So one, two. Oops, come on. Two. Three, four, chunk of salt, craft. Okay. So now if we go to tailoring, we need a coil of rope. which it doesn't look like you can buy. So to make this coil of rope, we need a spool, a five spool of thread. And loom shovel. So let's see. Loom shovel. We Flax fiber. Don't have that. And wax. I'll buy some of that. So we need flax fiber. I have no idea where to get that. I wonder if we have to make it. Let's go and see if there is. You know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and see if there's a recipe for flax fiber. Back over here into this building. Him over here. I'm pretty sure flax fiber is just something you get off of a uh, as loot. Let's see. Bench. No. Okay, let's see. Let me think here. Let me uh, maybe take a look real quick, see where we get this flax fiber, and be right back. Okay, so it turns out that flax fiber is what it used to be called. They changed the name of it, but they obviously haven't updated the recipe book because all flax fiber is is raw cotton. So we need to go find us some cotton. And I know just the place for it. So let's go ahead and head back towards the uh, Braemar area. And we'll see if we can find some cotton. Okay, we are back. And we are headed to West Ravenswood. Good old West Ravenswood. And we're going to go get some cotton. So we can finish crafting our bag. Because everybody wants a bag. Why wouldn't you want a bag? Having a pack is definitely not enough. Especially, I'll show you, because right now, this is the inventory. But I'm going to spoil it, show you what the inventory will look like later. So 
here we go. Get this cotton. I'm just going to ignore this gray wolf. No, for a fact there is one up here to the left. It's like something I remember seeing, but I wasn't really paying attention to exact locations. It's right here to the left. can't get it. Hey man, that is just not cool. There's some more cotton right there. That cobalt's gonna aggro me though. Doesn't see me yet. There he is. All these slugs. Seems like a very high percentage that I'm getting them. We have enough already. I do want to get more just in case. Run around here, see if we can find some more. See some. So far we have four. Let's make six. Since I'm here just farming resources, I'll go ahead and get this copper. And some tin. Nice. Wolves. Wolves, do I see any cotton? Spider. There we go. I see some. Might have to fight my way to this. Oh yeah. They have not aggroed me, but as soon as I... Oh, 
Here we go. Take these guys out with my sword. Save the focus in case they gank me. Spiders while I'm at it. Get out of my way. Uh oh. Taking some damage. That venom. I really have to fight this. Not so tough when it's just a couple of you. I just want some cotton. Alright, let's loot these guys up. Here comes another spider. Hurry up. Any day now. Oops, just discarded a spell I wanted. And of course all the spiders decide to jump on me now. So we need to loot these guys up. Get out of cotton. Get out of here. Of course. Of course. Because I have to kill you too. I'm really doing a good job defending this cotton, I swear. Jeez. sword away. Get some of that focus back. I think that spider's, that large spider is glitched in that tree. So as long as I don't go over to it, it should be fine. Stay there. I'm going to get that, chop down that tree on the way back. Finally, we can get some cotton. Oh my god. Just give me my cotton. Oh, large spider. No. Just want my cotton. They got me rooted here, too. How long is this going to last? I just want to turn to face you. There we go. 
I don't remember them doing that rooting last release. I think that's new. Straight to the con, and I'm gonna wait to loot these. Oh my Weapon away. Let's go ahead and get this cotton quick. Get it. Thank you. Quickly loot these. I'm getting the heck out of here before I get rooted again. And I should be sitting at eight cotton. Just ignore this little spider. It's the large ones I'm worried about. Ah, no. Stop. I didn't want to do that. You're forcing my hand. I just want to loot that spider. Didn't want to kill you. You made me. I had no choice. Pretty sure you guys saw that self defense. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Let's ignore these spiders. I want to get one more cotton bush to make it a nice 10 cotton. Oh, I forgot to get my tree. I'm not going back. There's no way. Oh, there we go. Get away, bear. Don't knock me down. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pause here and get back to town and we will craft our bag. Okay guys, we are back and we are ready to finish our bag. So what was it that we needed? We needed the coil rope, coil rope, spool of thread. We need five of them. We might need more cotton after all. I don't even know what Textiles. There we go. Spinning wheel. Okay. See, it's not highlighted though. Spool of cotton thread it is. We'll see if it works. We will see if it works. Go to crafting. And we need our loom shuttle. And we need wax. And we need four of these. Okay, so that made three, so that's good. Let's do that again. One. One of the wax, and we need four cotton. No, there it goes. Did 
take all. Nope. You know what? We need it right back there. Textiles. Get the loom back on there. And we need... Let's see if it lets us... Yes, spool of thread. Yep. So that spool of cotton thread really is just a spool of thread now. So let's go ahead and get five of these. Drop on here. Coil of rope. We want to go to our tailoring station now. And we want four leather coil of rope and scissors. Scissors. Coil of rope. Four leather. And there we have it. Our first thing that we have crafted with the crafting system, a small bag. Let's go ahead and take all. Now let's see, let's go ahead and exit out of here. Exit out of our book. Actually, let's see here. Tailoring. Okay, yeah. Go to, the, to our inventory, and we should now have... small bag. There it is. Can we put that down here? No. That would be nice if we could put that down here and we could access it like that, open it up. Okay, so you just double click it and then you can drag and drop things into it. We actually want to get rid of some stuff here. I don't want my arrows. Just destroy them. Uh, let's actually sell some stuff. Okay, we still have quite a bit, but let's go ahead and do what I was going to show you before we end this video. Let's go ahead and go to controls. Actually, is it in game? It's in game. Go to game. And let's see here. I want my compass up there. Where? Is it? Oh, it's the very first one, go figure. Uncheck the use list inventory mode. And let's see what happens. Look at that. We actually have a bag, just like the old Altima. We can go ahead. So I think if you, uh, I don't know what the hell the pin is doing, but so where is our small bag? There it is. So we can take our, our bag here, open it up and we can put all of our crafting stuff in here. So we got some tin, all of our crafting materials here.
get that log in there because you know we can definitely fit that log in to the small little bag here we actually want to wait not the cutlass there we go destroy that armor it's ruined anyway Just going through and moving stuff out of the way. Getting just the resources right here, right now. Chunk of salt, make sure we get that. Move our chunk of salt. Move our crafting equipment over. Skinning knife. Pickaxe, harvesting axe, and our sickle. Let's go ahead and see if we can make it so we can actually see these things. So then we have our player instructions. We're going to move them down here. Their events and we have our maps and torches if we ever need them and we have a cutlass I'm so I'm just gonna destroy it there we go. Look at that. Nice and neat pack now. Can you resize it though? That's the question. It doesn't look like it. It would be nice if you can resize this pack because it's pretty large here. But we can go ahead and put that down there. And there's our pack. We can always have it open to see. So like if they ever make it so uh, reagents are required to cast spells instead of using a focus. You can actually have your bag of reagents and you can keep an eye on them based on having your bag open. You can see if you run out. So it definitely makes us feel a lot more like Ultima Online just by having that right there. And I'm not even joking about that. I mean, there's my paper doll and there's my backpack. That's Ultima Online right there. That's... Uh, truly the first time in this game that really felt connected to the Ultima line. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I will do more crafting. I might not do it this next video, but I will definitely do more crafting and we'll get more involved as we collect gold and see what we can craft, what we can do, organize our pack even more, get down to the nitty gritty. Um, Please remember, if you want me to try a build out, just let me know the build. I love trying different things out. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. And until next time, guys, I'm Plague Spores. Thanks for watching.